hi everyone welcome back to my channel's k here thank you very much for joining me today i'm so glad that um you are watching my channel and i really appreciate all the lovely uh, comments and please keep subscribing that'd be fantastic a thumbs up would be better still as soon as I start talking, sorry about that, I've still got a little bit of stuff hanging around this virus that I've had forever, this, um, uh, what's it called, RSV virus, which is respiratory virus, anyway, so this morning I went to a recycling shop where, you know, how your rubbish gets collected and um, they go through and they recycle some of the stuff, so I went down there to have a look, so the first time I've actually had a look, and I picked up some of some books, so they're all half price, so I thought that was, that was, um, pretty good um this is a old old one uh, just i didn't there was a whole heap of a golden book but i only picked up a few this is one about uh re reprinted in 1978 but it looks quite old but it's in good it's got some lovely pictures of the nursery rhymes it'll be fun the journal or to make a journal out of this it'll be fun looks a crooked man <laughs> that's fa that's fabulous <laughs> It's gorgeous. The little girl with the curl. Yes. Really lovely pictures. Some birds, some, some of the nursery rhymes I don't know. I don't this one. The little bird. And my mum, the other ones. Don't know that one off by hand. Little Robin Redbreast. Or Daffy Down Dilly. Or two little dogs. Oh. I don't know this one either, or this one. Oh, the mouse. Well, I haven't had this one for a while, a dollar a dollar. And then Miss Muffet, I used to be, always used to tell my girls, it was little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. There came a great spider who sat down beside her, and Miss Muffet went splat. I didn't want my girls to be scared of spiders, but it didn't make any difference. Because <laughs> they're still scared of spiders, and I'm scared of spiders too. It's got the um, thing at the back, which is lovely. All the advertisement, that'd be, it's a soft cover one. That's lovely. Just scribble on the back, but that's okay. It's really lovely. And then the other ones I've got were the Whispering Rabbit. I seem to be drawn to these rabbit ones. Just thought it was cute. It's not very old, 1975. Lovely, lovely illustrations. Gorgeous. That's gorgeous. I do like the cute, cutie rabbit ones. Like they said, they had a whole heap of gold, little golden books, and I just went through them and just chose ones that I quite liked with the illustrations of. I'm standing near the shop <laughs> going through them. And this one, the little boy with the drum. A little bit of sad fat sore. Again, just beautiful colours, beautiful illustrations. Gorgeous. How about this one to have a date? Looks like an old story with a court. No, it says 1982. Copyright in 1969. It's interesting they've still got a, a plough horse. <clears throat> plough horse, yes. Lovely. Beautiful. Yeah, look at how they do it. This almost looks like it's done in pencil and then um, uh, copied for the book. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> That's lovely. And good night, little bear. Again, I chose this one. This one's by. Um, which is scary illustrations. I just quite quite like the Australians again. Illustrations again. That's the main reason I chose it because I quite like which is scary illustrations. These sketchy ones I'm not quite so fond of, but I like these ones. The little rabbits <laughs> in the vegetable patch. <laughs> Lovely. That's another lovely book. And another rabbit one. That is um, ABC. So this one is 
Copyright 1957. Copyright renewed 1985. So this is just a book of alphabet pictures. But they're lovely. I think they're really lovely. So we've got the little rabbit running through the story, like a connection kind of thing. Oh, that's cute. That is so cute. Now that would be hard because um, you wouldn't really know what a nightingale was if you lived in Australia, if you were a little child. Quail. So there's two to a page here. Oh, never heard of that one. That kind of animal. I'm always stuck for words to start with next. That's a new one for me. The end. It's <laughs> lovely too. And another <coughs> baby one. The animal ones. This one is 1958. Copyright renewed 1986, so it's possibly. It's always published though. So they're gorgeous, really cute little pictures. Look, gorgeous, gorgeous donkey, ducklings, piglets, <coughs> baby dogs. Excuse me a minute. Swans, ducks, gorgeous horse, lovely pictures. Oh. That's gorgeous. So that's all the little golden books I picked up because I've already got quite a few to go through them. Look at which ones I'm going to make journeys out of. And I was just going to another section and um, I picked this up and uh, it was, again it was reduced. This is uh, the teacher's treasury, I like the cover. It's all sort of embossed, it's a bit aged, frayed at the edges, but I picked it up and I'll show you why I picked it up in a minute. It's lovely. Even though it's broken here, still the pages are in really good condition. So it has this um, colour piece here, and they did a beautiful. I don't even know what that is. It's got tracing paper, it's quite thick. Sure, what kind of paper that is, but that was sort of like the illustration numbers for the illustrations here. That is really interesting. I don't know what that is. Yeah. So this was uh, edited by Amy Blyton. That's why I picked it up. And it doesn't have a date, I don't think. Couldn't find a date. That's right. Because the big pages are so thick, you think there's one in there, but it's not. And um, I just thought it was really interesting because of these illustrations. I just, there's all of these illustrations about how to uh, make things, but I just thought they were really fascinating. They'd be fantastic for a journal. Look at them all. They're just step by step instructions. Humpty Dumpty, honestly. Fantastic! All of these, um, I've got these sort of illustrations on the side of how to make them, and then on the other side too is you how to uh, which figure, what words are for the figures, the, uh, the bit written instructions, should say. So I just thought, just thought it was really sort of fantastic for um, journals. It looks quite old, like I said, it, but um, and if a teacher was teaching these things, I think they must be really old because modern teachers don't teach sewing or sewing really, unless you do it at high school. Isn't that lovely? I'm skipping some pages here so you're not so, not so bored. So look at that. Clever. That's nice too. So, I had to make a work basket out of corrugated cardboard. And then that gear goes, I think that's about all. I had the making thing. And then we've got a history. Children of Other Days. So, this is history from Other Days. 
shimmying them in in the past. So sharp as a cave boy. Swift up the herds boy. Another one of those bit of paper. This one's a bit ripped. Look at our pictures. Goodness me, wow. All men though, boys, men. Not one woman amongst them. <laughs> so these are just, this is the Egyptian boy, the Roman boy. What's this one? Henry the boy of the Middle Ages. I don't know why they bother calling it children, there's no girls in it. Benjamin the boy of 200 years ago. John the boy of Victorian time. All boys. So why call it children? Geography. Children of other lands, children of France. Norway. Holland. I mean, children don't wear these clothes now, so it'd be interesting to see children of the Alps. Another beautiful picture was this one. So. Oh, how annoying. You can't, again, there's no girls. All boys. Yeah, in the stories they've got girls. Children in Australia. Canadians. It's a shame there's no date. Children in Sahara. I'm sure if, if everybody saw this book and they think that it was a bit stylized for their country. Zulu children. I mean, lots of children wear the clothes, the western clothes. I'm sure there's no date. I'll have another look. No date there. No date there. Not there. Or there. Or there. Or there. So it looks old. <clears throat> then I picked up another Eden and Blyton big story book. Like all these books were half price, so I think this is similar to what I've got before. This one is 19 oh, Roman numerals 1981. I think it's a bit newer than the other one I've got. Because I looked at it and think have I got this one already? But the, the pictures inside are different, so I thought that it was a little bit different than the one I've already got. So I showed, uh, <coughs> I think it was the last book haul I showed one. It was a book time before that, an end of life storybook. Lovely pictures. This one has got no, oh, they, this, the other one did have a looking at trees, but this one's set out a little bit differently. So maybe the stories are the same. Maybe they've got it out exactly the same. Oh, yes, flower fairies, they are the same. But they just look a bit different. That's all right. I've got two now. <laughs> Couldn't remember. Just thought it was a little bit different because I don't think this was in there either. This is what I found. Look, I was looking at this and I'm thinking, oh, I don't think I've got this book. I think some of the things are just the same, but things that some things are different. Yeah, so these stories are a bit different as well. That's different. Lovely pictures. I have an ancient diary in the other one, but the pictures are definitely different. Yeah. So, I think they're the same sort of set out, but um, different. Which is good. But it's very similar, so perhaps they did a series of them. <coughs> These are buns. And then my find of the day. This was five dollars, but it was half price. I only paid two dollars fifty. This is material. It feels like material. It's a shame it's too big for a journal because it would just be fantastic as a journal. This is sort of inlaid. It's that sort of um has a plastic kind of feel. But this is definitely feels like material. Or this in this was in there as well. This is sort of like a thicker than paper, it's probably paper or something. I had a uh, paperback of this 
I'm going to cut it up, but this one I just I think I'll just keep it whole and use the pages. Uh, 1984. And it's just got all these lovely, lovely title pages. And then they've got whole pages of the beautiful Australian. Um, flowers? What are they called? Flowers. Goodness me, it's a lot of. But the paper itself is really quite. It's a bit shiny, isn't it? So I apologise if it's shiny for you. But um, it's, not <coughs> it's quite thick. Be great for Jones, because look at all that space you've got. I love these sort of um, letter decorations. These are gorgeous. Beautiful. Lovely. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. As you can see, there's uh, very delicate <coughs> flowers quite often in Australia. Beautiful, that's beautiful. Oh, this space. <laughs> oh, it's pretty. It's so pretty. Very delicate. You see that? Isn't that lovely? Oh, gorgeous. That's gorgeous. So delicate. Beautiful birds in that one. Beautiful. So you can see how delicate a lot of Australian <coughs> flowers are. Because it's such a harsh, harsh environment. What all? That's probably a bit more robust than lots of other ones. Wattle. Wattle is the national flower for Australia, so that's why we often have our national teams in the green of the leaves and the gold of the wattle. So, They're very um, muted colours, aren't they? Oh, look at that one. It's so pretty. That's lovely too. Hardenbergia. I love Hardenbergias. We had one growing <coughs> in our previous house against the fence line. That's lovely. Little sort of scene. Gorgeous. That's so beautiful. They're so hard to grow in Australia, in South Australia though. Wax flowers. Just don't have the soil for it. Maybe some parts, maybe the beach areas might be able to grow them. They're hard to grow here. Look at all the beautiful reds and oranges. Gorgeous. Hop bushes. I love hop bushes. So just this anti hibiscus. Oh, look. Look at the gorgeous ribbon marker. That's beautiful. Look at all some coloured leaves. Wow, that family. <clears throat> just, just so two dollar fifty. Really, unbelievable. You know, they're too big to cut down, so I'd have to fold them in half. And maybe do a fancy fold or something like that. Gorgeous. They just bore them. And Lucas. They're a hardy tree, Melaleuca. Gorgeous. What's this one? Very tiny flowers. What beautiful colours I've chosen for that one. Oh, that's lovely. I can't say I've seen one of those. Maybe they grow in some areas of Australia, but not in where we are. That's lovely. It's 
Sorry. <laughs> I just looked at a couple of pages in the shop and I'm just really, really looking at now. Oh, isn't that beautiful? They look like feathers. Oh no, they did collect. They were how they are feathers from different um, <clears throat> birds, and because there were some objects of interest collected on a summer day when a few flowers were blooming. That's gorgeous. It's lovely. Uh, yes, I like those ones. I've seen a, seen a few, some of those, but not very many. This is like a paper rose. They sort of feel like papery. And they actually last forever. They're called cool, they're cool everlasting. But you don't need to have <clears throat> water for them. They just last for a long time. They're like paper flowers. Pretty. Another whole page with nothing on it. Calendar flowers. Okay. So in January, get them. Oh, I see. It's different, it'll be interesting to have. And a note by the, by the person. And a dictionary index. And that's all. Like I said, it's a shame it's just too big for a journal. It was new, $38, and I got it for $2.50. I just blown away with that price. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me today. Um, please give me a thumbs up and make a comment. That would be fantastic. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.